Hey, I'm Josh. Today I want us to read from Matthew 14, where Jesus walks on the water here. We've got the disciples in the boat. The Bible says it's about 3 a.m. There's a massive storm. They're in real trouble. And Jesus comes towards them. And it says, in verse 26, when the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In their fear, they cried out, it's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water towards Jesus. I absolutely love this story. Just imagine being Peter trying somehow to uh, retell this story to your friends. But I just want to pull out a few things that I know will really encourage and challenge us here today. First of all, there's so much fear here from the disciples and fear really will distort our ability to see Jesus in the moment. When we allow fear to dictate and dominate our lives, it really causes us to behave erratically, even to the point where we're beginning to misinterpret the very thing that's there to help us as something that could really be there to harm us. And so where fear uh, distorts, actually our faith is there to help us distur discern the voice of God. And so as we learn to hear the voice of God, as we read his word, uh, we allow it to push out the fear and bring incredible um, courage, in, even in the midst of great chaos. And so may you know today that Jesus is present in your every moment, in the good, the bad and the ugly. But really what I want us to grab a hold of today is this thought that sometimes following Jesus will require us to walk on water. Sometimes following Jesus will require us to walk on water. So as an audacious follower of Jesus Christ, what impossible thing are you stood in front of right now, believing that it can be done? Where right now in your life is God calling you out of comfort and into greater levels of dependency and trust in him, in faith that the impossible can happen. For us right now, most of you will know that we are in the process of relocating our family from Manchester here uh, over to Sheffield to start uh, on brand new campus. And that is a radical, for us, a radical step of faith. But I would rather be walking on the waves with Jesus than, than sat in the boat. And so for you today, my prayer is that you will hear the voice of God that will bring in a supernatural courage uh, the ever-present God you will encounter today, uh, that he will lead you to the impossible, to walk on water uh, into the great things that he has in store for you. Audacious Church, it's time to walk on water. Uh, let me pray for you. God, I want to thank you for every person here listening today. Lord, may we hear your voice right now. May we just still our souls and our spirits to hear from you. Come and speak into our lives. Uh, that word, take courage. I am here. I am with you. Lord, I thank you that you're always with us. Lord, thank you that you are calling us out of comfort into great things, supernatural things. Uh, we're ready uh, to follow you here today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Much love. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.